Hello students, in today's video we are going to see what fraction is required to write the given figure as a complete whole and we will write down the smallest and the greatest fractions. Let's get started. Making one whole. Write the fraction of the shaded parts in the box. Now I have to look for the shaded parts. But first I need to see that how many parts it has been divided into. It has been divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 parts are there. So that means 8 will come in the denominator. Now I will look for the shaded parts. So shaded parts are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 parts are shaded. So I will write down 5 in the numerator that means this figure is 5 by 8 part is shaded that means out of 8 parts 5 parts are shaded now write the fraction of the unshaded part unshaded part means the part which is not shaded so how many parts are not shaded 1 2 and 3 parts are not shaded so how many total parts we have we have the same total parts 8 we have so 8 will come in the denominator and 3 will be written in the numerator because 3 parts are not shaded. Now, if I add both the fractions, both the fractions means 5 by 8 and 3 by 8. If I add them, then 5 by 8 plus 3 by 8. That means these blue parts are the 5 parts and these orange are the 3 parts. So, if I add all of them, it will be total parts I have 8 parts. And now total shaded parts are also 8. So that will be 8 by 8. If you divide it that is complete as a one whole. That means if I add 5 by 8 to 3 by 8. I am getting as one whole. What I have done. If I have given the fraction 5 by 8. And if I have to write down the 3 by 8 answer. How I am going to write down that. It is going to make as a one whole. Whole. So, what you have to do? You have to subtract 8 minus 5. So, 8 minus 5 is 3. So, that means it will be 3 over 8. So, if you add 3 over 8 into 5 by 8, you will get a 1 complete whole. That means the missing fraction in the box 5 by 8 and it will be 5 minus 8 is 3 by 8 make a one complete whole now let's see a few examples fill in the missing fractions in the boxes so one by four and dash make a one complete whole so it is one by four parts is shaded that means out of four parts one part is shaded so how many parts are unshaded four minus one is three parts are unshaded so that means out of 4 parts which will come in the denominator 4, 3 parts are unshaded. So, 3 will come in the numerator. So, that means 1 by 4 and 3 by 4 will make 1 complete whole. Now, let's see one more example. 2 by 7 and dash make 1 whole. So, 2 by 7 that means out of 7, 2 parts are shaded. Now, how many parts are unshaded? 7 minus 2 that means 5 parts are unshaded. So that means 7 will return in the denominator because they are the total parts we have and out of that 5 parts are unshaded which will be written in the numerator. That means 2 by 7 and 5 by 7 will make a complete whole. Now let's see one more example. 5 by 9 and dash make one whole. So, out of 9 parts, 5 parts are shaded. Now, what I have to write here? The unshaded part. What are the unshaded parts? 9 minus 5. 9 minus 5 is 4. So, that means 4 parts are unshaded. So, if I write down, so I will write down 9 in the denominator because there are 9 total parts. Out of that, 4 parts are unshaded which will be written in the numerator. Let's see one more example. 1 by 6 and dash make 1 whole. So, it is 1 by 6. Out of 6 parts, 1 part is shaded. So, I have to write down here the unshaded part. Unshaded part is 6 minus 1, which is 5 parts are unshaded. So, I will write down 6 in the denominator and 5 will come in the 
numerator so that means 1 by 6 and 5 by 6 will make one complete whole now let's see the smallest and the greatest fractions circle the smallest fraction so you have to circle which fraction is the smallest fraction now let's see the first example here it is 3 by 8 that means you have how many parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 parts are there out of that 3 parts are shaded as you can see here here out of 8 parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 parts 5 parts are shaded 1 2 3 4 and 5 parts are shaded now i have to show that which is the smallest fraction smallest fraction means the smallest number in the numerator but for that the denominator should be the same is my denominator same yes right it is 8 and 8 so denominator should be the same so we will look for the numerator so which number is smaller that will be my answer so 3 is smaller or 5 is smaller 3 is smaller right so that means this is my smallest fraction so this is my answer let's see the next figure so we have 5 by 7 out of 7 parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 parts 5 parts are shaded as you can see that here out of 7 parts 3 parts are shaded now what is the smallest fraction so our denominator is same right we have to be very careful with that part our denominator should be the same so now i will look for my numerator so numerator in this shape it is 5 here and here it is 3 which one is smaller 3 or 5 3 right so that means this is my smallest fraction now let's see one more example here this is 7 by 10 out of 10 parts out of 10 parts 7 parts are shaded and here out of 10 parts 2 parts are shaded now which is my smallest fraction the denominator is the same as 10 then we will look for the numerator so it is 7 here and 2 here so which one is smaller 2 or 7 2 right so that means this is my smallest fraction out of 7 by 10 and 2 by 10 let's see the next example here so in this figure there are 11 by 12 that means out of 12 parts we have 11 parts are shaded as you can see that here out of 12 parts 3 parts are shaded here out of 12 parts 7 parts are shaded now i have to show the smallest fraction so first of all the denominators are same which is 12 now i will look for my numerator so it is 11 3 and 7 now which one is the smallest 3 right so let's circle 3 by 12 this is my smallest fraction now let's see one more example circle the greatest fraction so now you have to circle the greatest fraction that means the bigger fraction you have to circle it let's see the first question 3 by 14 that means out of 14 parts you can see that 3 parts are shaded in the next fraction 11 by 14 that means out of 14 parts 11 parts are shaded now in the next fraction 8 by 14 out of 14 parts 8 parts are shaded now i have to circle the greatest fraction that means the biggest fraction so first of all i have to look for my denominator denominator should be the same so it is 14 14 14 so my denominator is same now i will look for my numerators now if i look my numerators it is 3 11 and 8 so which number is bigger 3 11 or 8 11 right 11 is the bigger number so that means 11 by 14 is my greatest fraction let's see one more example here so in this fraction it is 1 over 6 out of 6 parts one part is shaded next fraction is 3 over 6 out of 6 parts 3 parts are shaded next fraction is 5 by 6 out of 6 parts 5 parts are shaded now i have to look for the greatest fraction first of all the denominators are the same now i will look for my numerators in this numerator is 1 here is 3 and here is 5 which one is bigger 1 3 or 5 5 right so that means 5 by 6 is the 
greatest fraction. Let's see one more example here. This is 4 by 5. Out of 5 parts, 4 parts are shaded. Next fraction is 2 by 5. Out of 5 parts, 2 parts are shaded. Now I will look for my denominator first. Denominator is same. Now I will look for my numerators. Numerator, it is 4 here and it is 2 here. Which one is bigger? 2 or 4? 4, right? So that means 4 by 5 is my greatest fraction. Let's see one more example. In this fraction, it is 3 by 12. So out of 12 parts, 3 parts are shaded. Here, 8 by 12. Out of 12 parts, 8 parts are shaded. Here, it is 12 by 12. Out of 12 parts, all the parts, 12 parts are shaded. Now, first I will look for my denominator. Denominator should be the same, which is 12 right now. Now, I will look for my numerators. So, in the numerator, it is 3 here. Here, it is 8 and here it is 12. So, which one is bigger? 3, 8 or 12? 12, right? So, that means 12 over 12 is my greatest fraction. Let's see one more example here. Arrange the fraction in order. Begin with the smallest. That means now you have to arrange your all the answers in the order and it should start with the smallest fraction. So first I will look my all the fractions first. So it is 3 by 7. So out of 7 parts, out of 7 parts, 3 parts are shaded. 2 by 7, out of 7 parts, 2 parts are shaded. 4 by 7, out of 7 parts, 4 parts are shaded. Now I have to write down in the smallest fraction first. So, first of all, denominators are same. Now I will look for my numerators. So, a numerator it is 3, 2 and 4. So, which one is the smallest? 3, 2 or 4? 2, right? So, that means 2 by 7 is the smallest fraction. So, first I will write down 2 by 7 is the smallest fraction. Then after that, which number comes? After that, 3 by 7, right? Because after 2, 3 will come up. So, that means after 2 by 7, it is 3 by 7. And after 3 is what? After 3 is 4. So, that means it will come 4 by 7 at the end. So, first of all, it will be 2 by 7, then 3 by 7 and then 4 by 7. That means 2 by 7 is the smallest after that 3 by 7 and the biggest one is 4 by 7. This may be written in some different form also. That means 2 by 7 is the smallest. That means you have to write like this. This point shows that the smallest and this open mouth will show you the bigger number. So, 2 by 7 is the smallest. So, it will be like this. And then after that, it will be 3 by 7. Because 3 by 7 is bigger than 2 by 7. Now, I will write down like this. And I will write down 4 by 7 here. So, that means 4 by 7 is bigger than 3 by 7. And 3 by 7 is bigger than 2 by 7. So, this is the order starting from the smallest. So, this is our smallest fraction and it goes on increasing one. So, 2 by 7 is the smaller than 3 by 7 and 3 by 7 is smaller than 4 by 7. So, there are two ways to write it down. You can write down any form. Now, let's see one more example here. So, it's 2 by 9. Out of 9 parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 parts, Two parts are shaded. Here it is 8 by 9 and in the next fraction it is 5 by 9. So first I will look that my denominator should be the same which is 9. Now I will look for the numerators. So in this here it is 2, here it is 8 and here it is 5. Now you tell me which one is the smallest number. 2, 8 or 5? 2 right? 2 is the smallest one. After that? 5 and after that 8. So, we will write down the fraction. So, it will be 2 over 9 is the smallest. After that 5 over 9 will come and after that 8 over 9 will come. Let's write it in some different form here. 
2 by 9 is smaller than 5 by 9 and 5 by 9 is smaller than 8 by 9. So, we have written our fraction starting from the smallest one and going to the greatest one. Let's see one more example here. Arrange the fraction in order. Begin with the greatest. Now you have to start with the greatest one. That means the biggest number. Let's see the fractions first. So it is 1 over 8. Out of 8 parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 parts, one part is shaded. Now here it is 3 over 8. Out of 8 parts, 3 parts are shaded. Here it is 7 over 8. So out of 8 parts, 7 parts are shaded. Now I have to look for the greatest fraction. First I will see that my denominator should be the same. So it is 8, 8 and 8 here. Now I will look for the numerators. So numerator is 1, 7 and 3. Now I am looking for the greatest one. So you tell me which one is the greatest number. 1, 7 or 3. 7 right. 7 is the greatest one. After that which number comes? 1 or 3? 3. 3 right. So after that 3 by 8 and after that 1 by 8. So I will start from the greatest one. So that means first you will write down 7 by 8 is the greatest one. And after that 3 by 8 and after that 1 by 8. 8. Now let's write this in the different way. So 7 by 8 is the greatest. So greater than 3 by 8 and 3 by 8 is greater than 1 over 8. So that means I have started from the greatest one and I am going to the smallest one. 7 by 8 this mouth is open that means bigger number. 7 by 8 is bigger than 3 by 8 and this is also bigger sign. So, 3 by 8 is bigger than 1 by 8. This is how you can write it down. Let's see one more example here. 4 by 6. So, out of 6 parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 parts, 4 parts are shaded. Here it is 1 by 6. Out of 6 parts, 1 part is shaded. Here it is 5 by 6. Out of 6 parts, 5 parts are shaded. Now, I have to look for the greatest fraction. First, I will see that my denominator should be the same. So, it is 6, 6 and 6 here. Now, I will look for my numerators. So, numerator, it is 4 here, it is 1 here, it is 5 here. Now, I am looking for the greatest one. Now, which number is the biggest? 4, 1 or 5? Five? 5, right? 5 is the biggest one. So, this is my biggest fraction, 5 by 6. After that, bigger number, 1 or 4? 4 right. So after 5 by 6, 4 by 6 will be there and then after that 1 by 6. Let's write down here. So the biggest fraction is 5 by 6. After that 4 by 6 and after that 1 by 6. Let's write down in the different way. So 5 by 6 is greater than 4 by 6 and 4 by 6 is greater than 1 over 6. So, I have started my fraction from the biggest one, 5 by 6 and I am going to the smallest one. So, 5 by 6 is greater than 4 by 6. 4 by 6 is greater than 1 by 6. That's how you can write it down. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Bye-bye everyone.